What's up, y'all? So one of the things in my spare time I like to do is I uh, collect, uh, you know, artwork, whether it be uh, artist posters of music shows that I like. Uh, for example, these ones here, this James Brown, this Snoop Dogg. But my favorite is this Wu-Tang Clan, the old school Dr. J and Larry Bird going at it head to head. That's the shit right there. I got these three down in Austin. I was playing a South by Southwest uh, down there. Uh, with this artist from New York, Jenny Arnaud, it's uh, Americana Rock, um, uh, Americana Rock stuff, really good, talented girl. And uh, so up here, what you're looking at is a combination of, uh, of uh, posters that, I, that, I, that I've liked or shows that I've been to. Um, for example, this Erica, uh, actually not this Erica Badu, but uh, that Erica Badu over, in, uh, in, uh, over at a Radio City Music Hall. But uh, so anyway, my, it's a point. It's a, it's a collection of uh, some of the shows that I've played. Um, for example, Bonnaroo in 2009 uh, with my blues band, the Tangiers Blues Band. So uh, you know, Gathering of the Vibes too uh, performed there this year. So you know, I I get the posters to sort of, you know, kind of help me remember uh, what I've done along the way. And uh, it's a great, it's a great, uh, you know, it's a great uh, way to spend some time, a couple of days playing at these festivals, some good folks and, and, and serious good times, great music going on. Uh, yeah, over on this wall, these are the two I've done. Most of these are just uh, um, shows I've seen. Up there, you're looking at the, uh, you're looking at one of the original Moon Palace NYC prints done by an uh, artist friend of mine, Shannon McGregor. Who also did the uh, full scale um, brand, um, the brand, the Moon Palace uh, NYC original brand up there, which is real tight. One of my favorite, favorite things in the room. Uh, and over here on this wall, um, the Pride and Joy. You know, again, it's a mix of uh, of shows that I perform, such as you know Stockholm Jazz Fest this year with the Blind Boys, and. Uh, uh, Cisco Ottawa Blues Fest last year, uh, you know, Erica's show at Radio City I, I saw in uh, Sly, of course, 2007 here in New York City it was a great show. Performed at the Monterey, uh, Monterey uh, Bay Blues Festival. Uh, and yeah, Wakarusa in Kansas 2008 with, uh, with uh, again with Jenny. So this is, you know, this is my hobby. I love collecting these stuffs and getting them framed and just kind of, you know, Build, build, building up, um, building up uh, some of that stuff, and uh, this little collage right here, funk collage, was done by uh, Robin Miller, and uh, she took all the uh, my old favorite, all my favorite artists in the entire world, put them all together in this collage, and the coolest thing about it is, it was all done from recycling my old CD insets, and she put that together, and uh, it. If, if you ever wanted to know who my musical influences were, all you would have to do is look in this collage right here and everything would make sense. You got Sly, you got Earth, Wind & Fire, you got Hendrix, you got uh, George Duke, you know? Uh, I mean, everybody, just, uh, you know, all, all the major funk and soul stuff that I really grew up listening to and digging is all right here. That's a beautiful piece right there. And this is the newest piece. Um, this is a little collage of uh, some stuff I've done over the last year. Grammys with the Blind Boys in 2009. Uh, won a fifth Grammy and a Lifetime Achievement. Uh, it's a backstage pass from Stockholm Jazz Festival where we sh shared the stage with Little Feet, which was great. And uh, Copenhagen Jazz Fest uh, where I had the pleasure of seeing Mr. George Duke play keyboards. And for those enthusiasts out there, he is the man. Uh, Roots Blues and Barbecue in uh, Missouri, great time. Um, and uh, yeah, Stockholm Jazz Fest and um, Montreux Jazz Festival last year. That was a great experience too. Beautiful city and uh, some of the greatest music one of the most res reputable jazz festivals uh, in the world. Um, so that's the most recent addition to the spot. And uh, over here, this is, oh yeah. Uh, this is, of course, the man, George Clinton, up there. That was taken from a friend of mine uh, on stage way back in the mid-90s. And uh, over here, of course, Mr. Bernard Purdy, who I've had the pleasure of playing with uh, several times. The master of the groove. Um, he is the man. 
no question. And uh, down here, another personal moment, um, Steely Dan box set signed by Donald Fagan. And it actually says, Yo, Lev, happy late birthday, Don F. Uh, we've, uh, we're buds from way back, and uh, that's a trip. And, uh, yeah, over here, Jimmy, of course, I got this at an auction in uh, the Fillmore in San Francisco. And, uh, you know, he's one of my favorites. And uh, as well as the Almonds, this is from their last run at the Beacon. Uh, again, I was at those shows. It was great. So, you know, I've been very lucky over the years. Played a lot of great music, uh, seen a lot of great music, and played a lot of great music with a lot of great folks. So not too many people can say they, you know, have, uh, you know, get to do what they love to do all the time. But I'm one of the fortunate ones.